Hey guys, Jonathan Slensky here with Long Range Tactics. Today we're going to be going over the Field Optics Research Pro 32mm tripod system. Alright, let's start with the basics. It's a carbon fiber leg, aluminum body tripod. Your weight for the whole system, uh, without the spotting assembly up top is five and a half pounds but it's got a load capacity of 115 pounds where this really comes into play is when you're trying to use different pitches on the legs and you'll look see that in my other video that I did where I shot this in a stage at one of my 22 matches um, when you have the pitch of those legs all the way out it still needs to be able to support the weight of your rifle and whatever equipment you have so some of the lower end tripods that only have like a 20 pound weight limit they don't actually have a 20 pound weight limit when the pitch of their legs is all the way out. I've snapped the leg off a tripod, uh, actually with just a rangefinder. I splayed the legs all the way out and got down behind it and just the weight of me going to look through the rangefinder uh, sheared off one of the carbon fiber legs because it wasn't rated for that angle uh, with that weight. But this doesn't have that problem. To adjust your legs, you've just got a twist section here, a twist lock, pulls it out. You've got it for both the top and bottom section. All right, which is really nice. There you can see both now. Because I can collapse them in and lock both with one grip or unlock them with one grip and it pulls them both out. All three legs do detach. So you can twist off each leg individually, uh, which makes it really nice for packing because then you can separate the legs from the body so that you don't just have this big mass on the outside of the pack, especially if you're gonna check a bag. Uh, so when I went to the NRL 22 Nationals, I took all three legs off, put them in a long pouch in my ruck, and then I was able to pack the aluminum body in the middle of my ruck where it didn't take up as much space. Uh, my only complaint with the leg sections is sometimes when you go to, oh, and I just did it, as you go to unlock, it starts to spin off the leg instead of unlocking the uh, section. So you gotta hold it up top and unlock them. Not a big deal, uh, it's just something to be careful of when you're going to make the adjustments. The other nice thing though about the legs is you can lock each leg all the way up and lock that hinge out. This is really nice because sometimes I'm lazy and when I go to pick up my equipment, I like to grab it by one leg. And depending on how much weight you have on your tripod, it'll close up on your fingers and it's really annoying. But with those locks, this leg's not going anywhere. It's stuck in place. So you don't have to worry about that. It makes it really easy to move it around uh, and adds a little bit of stability. All right, we've already kind of talked about the ball head a little bit. Uh, it's really nice because it's the quick detach so you can pop off spotting scope and if you need to use it for your rifle I just set my rifle on top lock it back in place I don't have to mess with any dials just one lever on off super easy uh, which is really nice especially when I use it as my spotting scope tripod because I typically don't have my it set up for my rifle so on those stages that I do have to set it up for my rifle it's a nice quick transition to do that and then switch it back to a spotting later on you can also change the pan on the tripod head so instead of having to adjust this whole thing, I can just twist this little knob here and that frees up just this top section to pan left and right. Makes it really easy when you're spotting multiple targets across an open field or we're trying to engage multiple targets off an open field. And you don't want to have to be dealing with your rifle going down and up uh, and changing the pitch. You just want to be able to pan. So that's kind of nice. The only downside to this adjustment is it also kind of moves by itself. Um, so it's just a clamp that stops the top piece from panning. So that's kind of annoying because sometimes it gets in the way of the clamp if it's moved and it's right underneath of it. Um, but other than that, that's really my only complaint with the ball head. It's super nice, it's easy to adjust. It's just one twist, there we go. And it'll adjust it and then one twist to lock it down and it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, and it's rated for a high weight. I run my match gun on it all the time, which is like 19 pounds, haven't had any issues. Each of these legs you can also change the pitch on with a super easy adjustment just have to unlock that locking ring first and then you can pull this um, adjustment out and just set it to whatever height you desire and they go almost all the way straight out 90 degrees uh, which allows you to get in some really low positions very very quickly again if you watch my video from the stage i ran at a match recently with it that's how I decided to make my height adjustments. Instead of messing with each leg and having to do uh, the adjusters there, I just changed the pitch of the legs and spread the legs out more, and it made my adjustments much faster uh, between the different positions. 
all in all, I'm really happy with this tripod. It's a lightweight, sturdy option that I've really got no major complaints about. I've been using it for a couple of months, so I'm, I didn't just open the box and kind of play with it and give it the, and give the review to you guys. I've shot probably 10 matches uh, using this for either spotting or shooting off of it. I use it at the range all the time. Uh, it's a really great system. It's definitely worth going to check out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let us know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe our YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, and check out the new Long Range Tactics forum uh, at longrangetactics.com. Have a good one.